Race 14, Carter versus Penhall. There is Bruce Penhall, defending world champion. And the man who nearly won it last year in the white helmet, Kenny Carter, directly beside him. And as the tapes go up, Penhall makes another superb start. Out straight into Carter's leg, goes past the corner, puts Carter back, and this allows Peter Collins to roar out of the first corner in the lead. Peter Collins in first, Crump is in second, Penhall third, and Kenny Carter is fourth as they come around to complete lap number one. This is totally unexpected, a complete turn of events. Collins in first, Crump in second, Penhall coming to the inside, battling for second place. Penhall down to the bottom, going into second. And here comes Carter right round the line, up the inside completely, and look at him banging into Penhall. Carter on the inside, another one for Penhall. Carter into second place. Now Penhall is back to second place. Out of turn number two, Carter goes down. Carter has crashed through the retainer in turn number two. Luckily, that's a very safe part of the fence, Ken. He's right under it. The bike's disappeared, but we only can hope that Carter's physically okay. Red lights are on around the track. There is bound to be an exclusion. Let's call a see Carter is walking away. Just three weeks out of intensive care from a crash in England, walking away from another bruising incident. This in the World Championship, and he must be angry. British fans by the thousands have come to this Los Angeles Coliseum, and most of their hopes were on his shoulders. David Despain is moving in to get a word with Kenny Carter. Kenny Carter, what happened? Well, Bruce Pennell just took my leg straight from one of men. My front wheel went, and I had no chance. Are you all right? Well, I'm a bit, a bit winded. You've been excluded. Do you have a reaction to that? Uh, they can't exclude me for that race. Will you contest that? Well, obviously, Kenny Carter very upset as he goes to consult with his team manager, Ivan Major. And that is the word. Kenny Carter has been excluded. Ivan Major is on the phone trying to talk to the referee. Hello? Hello, referee? That race, uh, I had turned in the corner, and Bruce just took my leg, and I couldn't even turn, me, just both of my wheels just went from under me, and he, he just ran me straight through the fence coming out. I, I was on the outside in front, and he just took my leg straight underneath me, and I'm not kidding, referee, I just had a chance. Oh, I've been injured as it is, and... Hello? I've been injured as it is, he just stuffed me straight in. He took my leg and everything, I had no chance. Kenny Carter talking with Tori Kittleson, the Norwegian referee for this event. Excuse me, ref, how can I cause a stoppage of the race when he just took my leg straight from under me? Unfair riding, obviously. I mean, I passed him on the pit corner and he bloody turned right. He, t I mean, he turned left. I went from the start and he turned right from the start and went straight across the front of me. And then on the first, when I come past him on the inside, he went straight across on the, on, onto, hooked up onto me and he's elbowing me and I'm trying to get off him because my handlebars were stuck on him. And he just went straight into that corner and took my leg straight from under me. You can ask Barry Briggs, Ivan Manger, ask anybody. That's disgusting. The referee has the one and only say on a call like this. Well, I mean, that's, can't you speak to somebody? That's bloody, it's just robbed me of the world title of that, you know. You play it, what happened? Penal 13, driving underneath Carter. Carter's left him room, he'll probably regret that. Penhall's now pushing him out, 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 and now, Carter's got to make a decision whether he keeps going or shuts off. He keeps going, his handlebars clips the back of Penhall's machine and down he goes. Look at this action in the main straightaway. Question will be, was there a clip there? But look at this, it's obvious, the rough ride in the main straightaway with on the inside Carter, Penhall on the outside. Carter comes all the way to second position here. Then Penhall challenges again on the inside to take second position back. And the result, a catastrophe. And Penhall's got him in the bad position again. Once again, if Carter, Carter's got two decisions, one shut off or one keep going, and he's keeping going, and look at that. Clip the back end of Penhall's machine, and away he goes again. There is bound to be a major controversy between these two highly competitive lads, Penhall and Carter, after this race. Again, look at the rough riding in the main straightaway. Outside Penhall, leaning a bit on Carter, and Carter leans right back yes, into I Bruce think, Penhall. I think what's happened, Ken... Penhall pushed Carter in the first corner and it's taken Carter two and a half laps, really, really angrily chasing Penhall. He's got him, now he's given him a bit back, but 
Look at them there, they're hitting each other. If Penal had come off there, Carter 100% would have been thrown out of the race. But he's come into the corner, and this is where I reckon Carter makes the biggest mistake of the night. He gives Penhall room up the inside to get him on the bad end of the stick again. Unquestionably the most physical motorsports game there is. World Championship could be decided on this one action moment that comes up in turn number two of race number 14. There's Penhall. Now because he's in front, he has the line. And on the outside, Carter just doesn't want to give ground. The question is, did Penhall clip the legs right out from underneath Kenny Carter? The report is that Kenny Carter, after going through the fence, is all right. Kenny Carter being administered to by the safety personnel here in the Los Angeles.